Hello, everybody. I'm Jake. I'm Hannah. Welcome to another episode of the Bible Study. I have caffeine in me this time. Uh, it's been moments. Uh, it's, yes, okay. but uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. Maybe it's a placebo effect. I don't know. Well, not if not if you call it out, it'll fail. So it's definitely not a placebo effect. It That's actually chemical. if even if you know something is a placebo, it can still have the placebo effect. Interestingly. Mm. Yeah, but you're too big brain for that. So. I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> We're going to talk about paying the imperial tax to Caesar today. You know, the guy who was in charge of Rome during the uh, Judean occupation under which uh, Jesus existed, probably. Probably. Yeah. So, that's going to be exciting. And we're going to do a challenge. Are we? Yeah, here's the challenge. Don't talk about Bob privy. Marley's balls. <laughs> which starts now, because I just challenge, did. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. And then if we win, we get a prize. So we'll see what happens. What's the prize? We don't know yet. <clears throat> so, without further ado, we have Matthew chapter 22, verse 15, paying the imperial tax to Caesar. Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him, Jesus, in his words. They sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians. Teacher, they said, we know that you are a man of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You aren't swayed by others because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? But Jesus, knowing their evil intent, said, You hypocrites! Why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin used for paying the tax. They brought him a denarius, the coin, uh, of, 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 of the time, and he asked them, Whose image is this and whose inscriptions? Caesar's, they replied. Caesar's, they replied. Then he said to them, So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. When they heard this, they were amazed. So they left and went away. Like, wow. Those are some... Those, holy shit. Those are big words. Wow, that you is amazing. You heard it here first. Pay your taxes, folks. This is funny, too. I've I've been... You know I do the sovereign citizen stuff yeah. pretty regularly on my channel. Yeah. Um, fun fact... Kent Hovind is a sovereign citizen type. Yeah. Uh, which is one of the reasons he went to jail for 10 years is because he refused to pay his employment taxes or withhold any taxes from his business for decades. And anyway, he went to prison for 10 years and he's still bitching it's about it. It's not a it. bad sentence, honestly. And it's always funny to mention to him, you know, yeah, render unto really... Caesar that which is Caesar's. He gets mad. You're supposed to pay your taxes, says Jesus. He gets mad. He also sounds a little bit like uh, fuck money. But, you know, maybe that's just, you know. Sure. The um, idea is earthly things belong yeah. on earth. If you're in a system that involves taxes, pay your fucking taxes. Yeah. But, like, render unto God what is God's, your soul, your devotion, whatever. The point. Sure. Also, I don't know why they'd be amazed. That is some low brown shit right there. That is not worth being amazed for. Oh, whose picture's on it? Caesar's? Give it back to him. Whoa! They just couldn't handle the fucking brain waves coming off of this man's brain folds. It was. If the nuts. Bible happened basically exactly the way that it's described, <laughs> then the life of Brian is so close to how people actually must have behaved <laughs> back in the day. Just like super impressed all the time for no yeah. reason. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Um, so, uh, 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 are we doing the second, uh, the second one too, or are we only doing the tax to Caesar today? Hold on, let me take a look. Because we have tax to Caesars for the other ones, but uh, I think again, uh, they're pretty probably they're, the same. They're pretty close. So, well, let's get let's I get through them real quick, and we'll we'll just we'll we'll see if we want to okay. do another one. Um, sure. Because there is the marriage marriage at the resurrection right underneath all of these that we could easily do again. So maybe we'll do mm -hmm. that if we don't find some way to incorporate a popular Jamaican singer's genitalia into. <laughs> Count. We don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, right. So in Mark chapter 12, verse 13, paying the imperial tax to Caesar, 
Um, a lot of the same things happened. Uh, uh, let me see. Should we pay our taxes or shouldn't we? Uh, but Jesus knew their hypocrisy. So instead of their evil intent, it's their hypocrisy. In Luke, that'll change. Um, while you're trying to chat, trap me, bring me a denarius and let me look at it. Uh, they brought the coin and asked him, whose image is this? And whose subscription? Uh, so instead of um, uh, they left and went away, they just end with him them being amazed and stunned in his his presence when he drops that big, give Caesar the things with his face on it. Boom! Wow. That's rough. By the way, I don't know the answer to this, and maybe I should. I'm sure it's a, it's a, it's a reasonable answer that makes a lot of sense and isn't stupid. But... Um, when they, when the, it, it, I assume like like old coins that we have, like a, oh we have a nineteen seventy seven quarter or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, when they mint new money, when a new Roman emperor becomes emperor, and that sometimes is pretty quick turnover. Um, uh, is it? Do you think people collected the the coins? Do you think people? Collected oh, them? I would think so. Human beings like to do that kind of thing. We have a propensity for collecting. All sorts of weird We're stuff. Magpies. Yeah, so I would yeah. imagine someone. I imagine there are multiple people, probably, in, probably throughout Rome that found that kind of thing interesting and in compiling it. Ancient coin collecting. Hmm. Hmm. That's probably just gonna pull no, up people yeah. collecting ancient yeah, it coins. Is. It is. And actually, I've never thought about that, but I think it'd be interesting. I'm sure there's been at least one historical site where someone like sure. went into someone's, I don't know, clay piggy bank and was like, oh, they got one for everybody. <laughs> I wonder if any of them had like coins that they considered ancient. You know what I mean? Whatever yeah. the first. I don't know. <laughs> a, a, a clay seal. Um, I saw a thing at one point about, uh, I don't know what place in the world it was. That started out using sort of like certain size seashells, and then they started minting their own like fake seashells using metal, and then that turned into coins. Seashell currency. Let's see. Uh, shell money. Uh, oh well, that's just <laughs> that's just <laughs> shell money. Uh, uh, cowrie, maybe. Cowrie shell money. Porcelain, blah, blah, blah. Human use, here we go. Um, Native Africans, looks like. Okay. Pretty fascinating. That's cool. But I'm interested in why they're... They're valuable. Huh. Huh. Fascinating. Don't let me go down this rabbit hole. I could read about that forever. Okay. Luke uh, uh, has the same shit going on. Um... But this one describes uh, instead of them being just like like students of the Pharisees, like disciples. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one calls them spies who pretended to be sincere, which is nice. <laughs> I like that. You got to escalate the threat. Keeping a close watch on him, they sent spies who pretended to be sincere. They hoped to catch Jesus in something he said, so that they might hand him over to the power and authority of the governor. So the spies questioned him. Uh, and they asked him the same thing. He answers the same. They were unable to trap him in what he had said there in public. And astonished by his answer, they became silent. This is the first quote tweet. <laughs> True. Get QT'd, bitch. <laughs> Fucking ratioed. <sighs> How many retweets do you think Jesus would get nowadays? I feel like not a lot. I feel like he'd have like a he'd have a decent size following, like 10k. I feel like he'd be he would not be an influencer today. We leave that to the Kardashians, you know, real important people. This social commentary is is has the depth of a goddamn puddle, and I. <laughs> That's perfect. That's exactly That's exactly the depth of that sick burn. Hello, fellow kids. Do you also know about the Kardashians? The Kardashians. Uh, she just filed for a divorce. R. Against R. Kanye? R.I.P., yep. Good. Good for her. I would not want to be around Kanye. Uh, not unless he gets properly medicated. I don't think I want to be around Kanye in either sense, really. I feel like, I he's, trust- just a, I feel like he's a black hole. Like Everyone's personality has to feed in. I don't trust anyone who pees on a Grammy. You're gonna pee on an award Stop. statue. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Pee on an Oscar. 
What? He Did you not see he posted a video of him peeing on his own Grammy? With his dick out or just the stream? Just the stream. How do we know it was pee? It was pee. Because it's, it's Kanye, and we're like, that's definitely yeah. urine. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye wouldn't... I think Kanye <laughs> would find it to be unacceptable to make that video and not actually pee on it weirdly uh, yeah i it would it would betray his uh his creative genius um i'm yeah. wondering i'm wondering though he's so rich do you think he did that thing that like um uh like if i had to take a pee test to continue doing youtube and i would fail it uh you know you could get urine and like r reverse cath it into you do you think he uses peasant urine for like stuff like that because because his urine's like almost like good on a grammy right because he is so he's 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 a genius no do i don't think he uses other people's urine to pee on mm. things do you think he uses urine in his hair what are, are you the, referencing the that guy urine? online who does the oh there's the a guy thing? oh i saw the lady oh yeah. uh, mm, urine has a lot of medicinal purposes including a nice conditioner for your hair it doesn't. How do you don't, think I got this nice don't shade? Do, don't do anything with your pee except to put it in a toilet. Okay, we'll do. No, <laughs> don't drink your pee, Jake. Of course I wouldn't do that. Definitely not. Okay, I wanna. It's not refreshing <laughs> at all. Doesn't taste good. Doesn't like. Natural mouthwash. I know you're joking, but I still want to throw up. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have any kinks that involve uh, body waste. That would be rough. No. Unless you count um, picking, like, like, like any pickies on your body. Do you, like, pick? Do you, like, if you get, like, a pimple, do you just, like, have to get it? I feel, I feel compelled. I don't get a lot of pimples, but I'm very, sure. I'm not, I'm not very oily. Yeah. Baja and I do that to each other. Yeah, like 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 not chimpanzees. Not as a sexual thing, obviously. I just mean like oh, as yeah. a, you know, a yeah, couple no. thing. Like a shoulder like blade pimple? Other, like, like if we're giving each yeah, other a back it. rub or whatever and yeah. we're like, oh, got one. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get Baja it. Baja seems like she has pain tolerance, though. She okay when you, like, get after oh, her? Oh, God. She, I cannot, I literally yeah, cannot, I, I like, felt like you weren't the one that had the I pain I feel tolerance. like I could literally take, like, a rubber mallet and smash it into her back, and she'd be like, yeah, harder. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I agree, Baja. I agree with you. That is, uh, I feel that on a cellular level. I need, like, a back scratch? Just flay me. Don't, what's the, I don't need skin. What's that for? <laughs> Rip it off of me. That feels We actually good. bought like one of those pretty hardcore like back massager oh. things specifically for like like that because just because it like it feels good i'm not talking about the ones that are sex toys guys i'm talking about natural back massager. well you said hardcore and it made me but no you can feel that that's fine yeah no we don't have anything i don't know Sarah has really good back scratches but um her, uh she doesn't have strong enough uh arms She's not a. She's not. A, she doesn't have the strength of ten men, so she can't. She can't get in there, which is not her fault, really. It's mine. <sighs> anyway, I'd recommend getting one of the massager things. They're pretty. I'm cool. still on that Swedish mommy bullshit. Like, like I still think about someone just cracking the shit out of my back. It's probably bad for you, but I don't like. I don't care. Whenever COVID's over, I'm thinking about like, like. Finding a non-woo-woo chiropractor to just just obliterate my bones. Sure. Yeah. Like, does that have you have you ever been? I've never been. I don't like people touching me. So. Not to a chiropractor. I've gotten like professional massages and they're mm, nice. But maybe that. Yeah. Well, professional. There's massage. some um, uh, Get spas and stuff around here that do that. You don't gotta make it a weird thing. What? It was a literal like back massage. I was talking what. I think you're reading into my was, my excitement it was your over tone getting of some. Voice. It, was, it was your tone of I, voice. I dropped down here yeah, and get rubbed down. Mm, get rubbed yeah. right way down. It wasn't a sexual thing. That's okay. okay. You can like a you can like a thing without a making making groins react. Groinal okay. reaction uh, can be neutral. Yeah. Anyway, what are we gonna rub on next? What's the what's next on the docket? After this. 
I, we could do resurrection and marriage real quick if you want. I thought it was longer than this, but we've only gone 15 minutes. If you want to do, you want to just knock out another thing. Yeah, we can do knock that real out quick. Another thing. All right. I wonder how much rubbing takes place here. Well, I guess we'll find out. There's also the greatest commandment. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we'll go back to Matthew and we'll talk about marriage and resurrection. Um, so uh, this is uh, Matthew uh, chapter 22. Verse 23, right after the Caesar stuff, Jesus says, well, I guess the story continues. He doesn't really say right now. Um, That same day, the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses told us that if a man dies without having children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up the offspring for him. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first one married and died, and since no one, and since he had no children, he left his wife to his brother, like proper, like a table, like a family heirloom. Ah, this is Beatrice. Yep. Well, she got ran ragged by uh, uh, the, our, our other brother. Uh, Eleven kids, Bob left her, but uh, well. I guess, I guess, what else are we going to do with her unless we give her to a man to decide, so why not? The same thing happened to the second and third brother. I think she's killing the brothers. I think she's systemically yeah, murdering this, is, this family. This, this, is, is, this is femme fatale. <laughs> this is, you vote, you vote her out of the spaceship at this point. Yeah. You emergency meeting, boop, and you, you, you make sure that this happens. We have very hip references, and definitely we, we should do a Fortnite reference next. That'll be hip. I don't with play the kids. Fortnite. We can do with the thing the the floss. Yeah, that was so vaguely the floss. I could try and do it. Let me see but... your genuine floss. Do your best. You want to stand up? Okay, you can stand up if you want. Oh, well, I got to stand up. Ooh, I love those is pants. It, is it like this? Is it, is it one of these? I feel like. Wait, you gotta. You got it. Oh, that's a little better. That's you've practiced this. You're a professional. This is this is this is, this is more embarrassing than the butter nips video. <laughs> real. Well, we can't do that anymore. Okay. No. If I do that again, it'll have to be on OnlyFans. <laughs> anyway, uh, so she's killing all the family members right on down to the seventh. Wow! Holy shit! Finally, the woman died. She had no one more, no one else to kill, and her bloodlust. Uh, consumed her. Now then, at the resurrection, uh, which is you die and you turn, you exist in heaven. Uh, whose wife will she be of the seven, since all of them were married to her? This is a fantastic question, um, considering that uh, women are property, um, because one somebody's got to get an award, right? Jesus replied with his big brain. He's a, he's a big wojack boy. You are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. But about the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what God said to you? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. When the crowds heard this, they were astonished at his teaching. Nobody gets the wife? So, uh, being married in real life is literally pointless. Tossing that yeah. out there. It's the idea is basically pointless. that your fam- familial bonds and your relationships don't... This is like actually property. when I was a kid and I was in elementary school, because you guys know I went to like a fundamentalist Baptist elementary school. Uh, that was something that got brought up. Like, your family's not going to be your family, and your mom and dad aren't going to be, like, married... It's all just going to be, like, heavenly spiritual beings. And it made me want to cry. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, what? no. They're going to basically deperson us and then destroy all of our relationships yeah. with other people? I've talked about it's this. It's horrifying. I've literally talked about this before um, with uh, believing Christian people. The one, remember that one girl we worked with that got married so she could fuck? Um, <laughs> you know the one. Uh, uh. Couldn't couldn't have sex until marriage, so might as well get married at seventeen and a half. Um, it was like, you know that 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 question, you know, if 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 the person you love most dies and goes to hell, is it heaven when you get there? A very similar question here. If you're not married, you know, if you don't get to 
continue being with your husband that you love, uh, what's the point? And it was it was devastating to this individual. I did not mean for it to be so. I thought maybe she would have an answer being a very religious person. Uh, she cried and shit. Um, and, um... Yeah, this sounds fucking horrible. This is not a good thing. This is this is actually um, it's been a while since since the Bible has has thrown us something that's gross. Mostly yeah. it's just been funny. Like this is gross. This is icky. I don't like this. Not only of course is the woman just transacted through the brothers because that she doesn't have a choice, but of course, um, you know, they were worried about the ownership of her in the afterlife, and then worse, no one has any. Uh, relationships whatsoever like are the brothers brothers no probably not right so i, I don't understand the, the transaction of actual marriage uh in, in in real life then and why it has to be overseen by god why does it have to be even have rules at all no idea also aren't the wedding vows like no it's not till death do us part so i'm thinking like part of like, death Right, so so like so like, do modern Christians think about the fact that they're just like not going to be together in heaven? Because I don't, I feel like most of the narrative, like pop culture wise, just seems to be like, ah, oh, yeah, we get to have a family in a mansion. Yeah. No, I'll see you, my wife, when we get that. No, you won't give a fuck. Okay. Uh, so I know it would be worse if they are like magically forced to not give a fuck, or if they do give a fuck, but it's just not allowed. <laughs> Well, that one's probably worse, but yeah, and I don't understand the idea of like this infinite punishment for for like, I mean, not the typical for finite crime, but I mean like infinite punishment of for for a crime. But but then when you get to the point of heaven, you're not the person that even made the choices to get to heaven anymore. You're you're literally just a husk soul. That has none of the none of the earthly experiences really interact with you the, anymore. If you remove all the stuff that makes you you, are you even you in heaven? Yeah, ship of Theseus, but a person. Of course not. Yeah. Anyway, so Mark also talks about this in, in chapter 12. Um, I'm trying to see if it's any different at all. Uh, now about the dead rising, he says at the after he talks about... You being like angel in heaven. Now about the dead rising, have you not read the book of Moses in account of the burning bush? How God just said to him, blah, blah, blah. I am the God of those people. Uh, he is not the God of the, the God of living, badly mistaken. So, yeah, he just says the same shit. And again, in Luke, uh, pretty much the same thing as well. Um, but at the end, uh, some of the teachers respond to him. Um... And they say, uh, well said, teacher. And no one dared speak to ask him any more questions, which is weird. They didn't want to get pwned in the public square. <laughs> by Jesus, who's just constantly fucking dunking on people and drinking white monster in between tweets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's just all he is. Jesus is just a debate, bro, for sure. I hate that. I hate that characterization of Jesus, and I I'm also right. love it so much. Yeah. Someone make a movie where it's it's biblical times, Let's just do or it. it's like done. Who? Um, it, not even just that. Let's just have it where it's it's like debate bros, but it's like Jesus and Muhammad and and like Buddha <laughs> and all sorts of Eastern philosophers <laughs> and religious figures are all like debate bro streamers. I don't think that deserves they, a movie, but that probably deserves like a ten minute skit. Like, okay, sure. Yeah. Sure. Or just like like a like a fucking Twitch panel with all of them. <laughs> and when Muhammad's on, Muhammad's camera's broken the whole time, so there's not a Yeah, we could probably do that, honestly. <laughs> that would be terrible. Um yeah, that's 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 real dumb. <laughs> I feel like Jesus would lose a debate against like like just just one Twitter atheist, any of them, even the angry dumb ones. He's he's not bright. Like he he's bright for I guess like a very devoutly religious person in that time that is forcing to make the ideology work. But he he's like nothing he says is ever like that really clever. I don't know. I'm much more impressed, and I'm not even joking. I'm much more impressed by Muhammad type stuff. Granted, they had like. 
hundreds of years to adapt there like was the a language lot of development however those things. reverse of that athenian like like socrates and stuff kind of fucking they they had zingers every once in a while plato and stuff like and that was prior to jesus so i don't really understand why why this guy gets a lot of the it probably has to do with the context that he came out of and what he was reacting well, sure. to saying, like, and how he was able to successfully pull a bunch of people together yeah, I, with I, a common I, message. I guess more of it's the... Man, it really didn't take super big hold until, you know, after this, but after Rome. But, uh, like, it became popular in Rome-ish. Like, enough. And, like, these people mm-hmm. were... It reminds me of, like, right-wing propaganda stuff where it's just, like... Like, and that's probably how it disseminated, where it's just like, oh, you, 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 you're you not going to die if you choose this. You're, otherwise, you go to hell. And people are like, oh, that sounds fucking bad. I guess I'll do that. Um, and then eventually it becomes extreme. But, like, but like, there's no good rhetoric behind it, really. But still, it persists today, obviously. And I, I'm, But it's not because of Jesus' very smart, super cool words. It's because, like, just, just broad indoctrination over time. So I'm interested in, like, why. It's not particularly clever. Maybe but it has sounds so better much... in the original Aramaic, or... <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not you <laughs> I know, know. I know. It's just kind I'm of not really joking. That's super that, funny. Or in like when it was finally written down in the original, like Greek. Maybe it sounds. I guess I feel like better. Homer. I, I feel like Homer wrote like more interesting philosophical pieces about stuff just through metaphor. I don't know. It just, just contextually speaking, I am at a loss to to f- f- see the appeal of this particular thinker. I would imagine part of that has to do with the fact that so much of Christian ideology, at least in the pop cultural sense, has proliferated culture to the point that it is just standard to us. So it 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 doesn't hit us because that sort of morality system, at least the popular stuff, is is basically ingrained in our culture. Yeah, yeah, it's part j- being jaded for sure. But, I don't know, like, to say that they were astonished when he said this kind of stuff is so weird to me. Anyway. Well, it's a religious text. You gotta have, yeah. I call it the Hannah Montana effect. I don't know if I've discussed this with you before. Let's, let's, let's discuss the Hannah Montana effect briefly. Okay, so uh, Hannah Montana, of course, was a fictional character created by the Disney Corporation. Wait, what? To sell uh, concert tickets no, for real Miley singer. Cyrus concerts. Uh, uh, Miley, anyway. Miley Cyrus is a different person. The first time, (laughs) let me explain though, for real. The first time I saw Hannah Montana, I turned on the Disney Channel or something, and it was a bunch of kids screaming for Hannah Montana, whom I've never heard of. So you thought, that's a popular individual. Yes. You could basically manufacture a pop star by showing them being screamed at by a bunch of adoring fans. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Even if it's in the context of fiction. Sure. So in your kid brain, especially, you're like, "Oh, Hannah Montana, famous real life singer Hannah Montana, who's definitely not just Miley Cyrus in a wig." Um, (laughs) I know that was the premise of the the show too, but I'm just saying, like, the way you contextually show something, real reflects on how people perceive that person. So if you show Jesus telling a message and then you have an audience there, a chorus basically to say, yes, that's brilliant. Then the reader is going to be more likely to be like, you know what? That is brilliant. I agree with the, (laughs) the fictional people in this story who were also written by the same person who wrote the Jesus. You know who did that? You know who did that in their own book? Who? Jordan Peterson. (laughs) He literally started that book with like, Hey, I got a lot of upvotes on Quora, you know, the popular website Quora. So, huh. You know what? I bet there is a psychological... I bet that is a, 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 the psychological reason that a lot of it does get a lot. Because of the hype men. Huh. Fascinating and sad. It's also... This ties into... I was going to talk about this in my Space Jam review, believe it or not. <laughs> Which is coming. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. But either way. <laughs> yeah, it'll come out when I'm 87. Um, uh, uh, I think 
Lola Bunny is the reason that a lot of furries exist. Oh, yeah. And I'll explain why. Oh, yeah. Not only are they drawing her like a, like a air quote, sexy rabbit lady, but then you have all the main characters, except for Michael Jordan. Thanks. Uh, the, the, the Looney Tunes characters constantly making googly eyes at Lola Bunny. This teaches the audience of children, this is attractive. Look at these people find her attractive. Don't you find her attractive? Because these people do. And I think that turned people into furries. I'm not a furry, <laughs> but I definitely think that Lola Bunny is the hot one. Yeah. Maybe there's a furry in us after all. Someone asked that one time what our what our animals would be, and people were like, oh, you're furries. And I think I picked a honey badger or something. I don't remember. Someone asked me that recently, and I said a dinosaur, I think. Just a, just a dinosaur? A I dinosaur? Don't remember what kind of, pick I don't one? remember what kind of dinosaur. <laughs> such a funny answer. Think they were too far such a it. funny answer. What's your favorite animal? A dinosaur? <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's the end of that. Uh, no more Bible right now. Uh, that's it. I don't know what we're doing other otherwise. But, um, yeah. So, I hope you had a good time talking about not a famous Jamaican singer's genitalia because we, we succeeded. What do we get? What do we get? I am going to consume every tablet of ibuprofen in this bottle. That Don't do that. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, it's about about 40,000 milligrams in there. <laughs> Let's get this done. Hell yeah.